Good morning. Good morning. Welcome back. Welcome back to another vlog. If you're new here, my name is Angel. So very nice to meet you. Right here, you might as well go ahead and subscribe. Come on in and cop a squat. Today is Saturday, September 28th. And as you can see, I'm looking like I'm looking. So I had to wash my hair last night because um, it was like really oily. I had put some oil in my hair and let it sit for a couple days. Getting ready to go ahead and blow dry it out and press it out so we can get started with the day. Cam's game was, his football game was canceled today because of um, whatever reason. I was thinking that maybe it had something to do with the hurricane yesterday and you know, people trying to get the neighborhoods and stuff like that back together. I really don't know, but that gives us a free weekend because we literally thought we was gonna have to go to Charlotte today, but whatever. The boys are gone to Waffle House because that's what they like to do. But me and Kendall don't really care too much for Waffle House, so. Um, we're probably just gonna like head out to some shops. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get the stuff that I need to get for uh, my mother-in-law's having a birthday party next weekend, and um, I'm in charge of the charcuterie board, so I'm gonna go try to find one. I thought I see I saw some at who was it? I want to say it was TJ Maxx or Ross. I think it was Ross. So I'm gonna go back in there and see if they have that one because that one was cute. Like it had like the little handles on it, on the side. And um, I probably go get all the ingredients from Aldi because they have like fresh produce and stuff like that. I'm not doing any um, projects today. I hadn't decided on the color that I wanna paint that dresser. I asked y'all on my Instagram and Facebook what color should I paint it out of the three colors so the majority of everyone said that burgundy that burgundy red color so I might go with that and do like gold handles in the living room the colors in the living room are supposed to be like a cognac color because my couch is going to be a cognac colored couch and then I have that black accent wall and I will probably paint in there honestly because I'll do the top, that white Swiss coffee. I really like that look by Bear. And yeah. <laughs> so it'll be <clears throat> like an off-white black cognac. And a pop of color would be that burgundy dresser. So let me get this hair done. Baby, it's a lot. If you want to grow your hair out, I think these vitamins had something to do with this. I think I told y'all this before, but I've already I'm done taking these vitamins, and I'm gonna order some more because I really like these. So if you hadn't tried the Black Girl vitamins, like girl, the one a days, get you some of those.
my clothes on. So I got this little white shirt from Express. These jeans are Levi that my sister gave to me. I think they're cute. And then I just got my um just got my sambas on. I kinda like when the shoes start to get like um like broken in a little bit. Like I don't like them when they like fresh out of the box. But now they kinda broken in so they look kinda worn. So it's giving like mom on the errand. You know. It smell like a hair salon in here. But I got my hair pressed out. We'll see how long it lasts because y'all already know when I get the sweating in my scalp, it didn't last that long. But my hair is actually getting longer. It's getting longer. And I could have done it a little bit silkier, but it's good enough. I use the silicone shampoo and conditioner so if y'all haven't used that try it out and it gives you like this very silky texture to your hair but yeah so we're gonna put on fragrance and i think we're gonna wear um this one today this is the yara i just ordered this for um for my mother-in-law for her birthday she don't know yet and then i got um one for my sister because my sister really like they um i ordered them this one the pink one because they both really like this so i got one for both of them and yeah so i'm gonna put this on it smells oh, it smells so good y'all all right so come on let's go All right, y'all. So we done made it to Ross. That ain't no good picture. I can tell the way you just took that. Uh huh. It was. When we come here for two things, they packed up in here. No. You got what? Oh my, let's get these. I'm gonna get this for me and Bree. Cause she said we got to link with each other for Halloween or before. I'm gonna take a picture of it and send it to her. You see this one? You want a round one? I'm gonna start recording. I'm gonna get these. Pretty long. Watch that one. Where you want me to go? Alright. So we made it to. Where did this come from? We just came from Ross. We are at Hobby Lobby right now, but we had to stop and get some food. <laughs> I hope they ain't eyeing my food because they so, not So, we stopped at Wingstop. I don't know what y'all be eating from Wingstop, but the only thing I eat is the lemon pepper chicken tender. You know what I eat? And then we're going to go at um, Hobby Lobby to see if they got these frames. For my pictures that I ordered off of Amazon. Made it back home. I want to show y'all what I got from Hobby Lobby. We went a few different places, but the majority of the places we went um, for my mother-in-law so we can get the stuff for her party next weekend. But we ended up um, going to Hobby Lobby because I need to get the frames that's gonna go on this wall right here. My pictures are coming today from Amazon and I had to get some frames. Now the pictures said online that they were 18 by 24 
but the frame i meant 16 by the picture said it was 16 by 24 but the frames that i got are 18 by 24 so i couldn't find a 16 by 24. so hopefully online it meant to say 18 by 24 because yeah so anyway got these these were 11.99 but they were 50 50 percent off so let me see how they look i was gonna look on the wall so get to yeah that's gonna be cute i wish i could cover this one i'm just waiting <clears throat> waiting on my pictures. I need to see where it's at. And then I found these at Hobby Lobby. This is Isn't it cute? So it's good vibes only. getting ready to go I hope my hair don't puff up we getting ready to get on the party bus and go to the bar yeah go to bus y'all What's uh, up? So I'm working. How you doing? Alright. I'm working. I'm not partying. If I go in there, I'm drinking. I can't be drinking. Oh, wow. So I gotta sit like a good boy in the bus and this. What you working doing? Driving. Driving? He the DD. He the DD. You designate. Imagine John driving, going to have a couple of drinks and getting pulled as soon as he leaves that. I mean, he do that in the car. But that's different. This is uh, a commercial. It's a business. Yeah. I don't even want to know what would happen if the driver's drunk. I think everybody's going to fuck <laughs> the drunk. How you doing about that? <laughs> All right. Yeah. Yeah, I see the bus. Good morning, y'all. Today is the next day. It is Sunday, September 29th. And um, I just, um, I've been up, but just not getting ready for the day because I gotta go get something to cook for dinner. But I was up this morning. I did log on for church. And, um, and then I had to get some work done for my job. So I did that. I was actually doing that while I was logging on, while I was logged on for church. But the sermon was pretty good today. Um, the topic was uh, confronting, the topic was confronting temptation. And it came out of the book of Matthew four and one, basically where it was just the devil trying to tempt Jesus into doing these things that 
um, he knew God was not approving of. If you are, just basically saying like, if you are who you say you are, make, you know, turn these stones into bread. And God, I mean, and Jesus was telling him like, you know, that's not what God sent me here to do. That's not what I'm gonna do. And, um, so basically, you know, the devil just kept tempting him with different things and God just kept telling him like, no, I'm not gonna do that. You know, I'm gonna wait on him. I'm gonna wait on the word of God and do what God tells me to do. I'm not gonna do <clears throat> what you're telling me to do because right now it'll be beneficial to you. So y'all can take that for whatever it is, but basically, you know, that's just how we are tempted every day in life. Like we know we do things that is not in the will of God, but we do it because it's convenient right now or it's, it's, it's quicker and it's instantaneous and we can get that result right now, but, um, you know, that's not what God wants us to do. God want, he wants us to do it when it's time, on his time and not ours. So, yeah, I thought it was a pretty good um, sermon and that's what I took from it. So if y'all take something else from it, um, please let me know down below. But the, the scripture is Matthew 4 and 1 and then I think I read it all the way up to like um, the end of that passage. So I think it was like, up to verse 10 or 11. So anyway, so I was thinking about switching out these curtains too because I wanted to mix in some black curtains with it. Well, y'all see the theme of the room is black, white, and gold. So I was thinking that I probably, if I can find some black, I think I do have some black curtains in there that I can add to these. But anyway, we'll see. Uh, we're just waiting on the pictures to get here. But tonight for dinner, on the menu, I'm gonna cook a roast, green beans, macaroni. I don't know if I do macaroni or do rice, but I think they'll like macaroni better. Um, and some biscuits. This girl. Hmm. But can I have that chip to you by me? All right, I'm gonna see how long we get to the store. Central and eastern part of North Carolina didn't get hit as hard as now we did get hit and it was a lot of stuff a lot of flooding and stuff going on like that but western North Carolina like on the border of Tennessee or going towards Tennessee they got hit the worst and it is like unbelievable that we we can even ride around and do what we're doing like a normal day and their whole world is turned upside down in Western North Carolina. So y'all just pray for like the Asheville area, um, those areas west west of um, Western North Carolina. It was really really bad, and I didn't even realize it until I was looking at the news. I'm like, dang, like how, how can we even be in the same state? And yeah. It's bad but other than that we just chilling today y'all know my Sundays I like to relax chill and get re reset for the week that's my only day that I have to just like recuperate I probably 
um, wash Kendall's hair and do her hair too because girl, she took them braids out. She wanted them braids out so bad. And she thinks she about to be wearing this little poof ball on top of her head every day. No ma'am. Hopefully she just leave it alone so we can grow back. But I honestly feel like now that um, I'm seeing all of these claims about the Mayel products breaking off um, people's hair. And I'm thinking like, if I could, I would show y'all a picture. If I could find a picture, I'll show y'all a picture of what Kendall's hair was like, um, what was it, two years ago, compared to what it is now. And, oh my God, my baby hair broke off so bad. Like, at least eight inches of her hair is gone. And um, my daughter's hair was like, 20 inches long. I made a video about it. If you go back in my videos, you'll see when I pressed her hair out before. And um, yeah, so we've been using my hair products for years. And this one specifically was the Rosemary Mint collection that we've been using. I was noticing too that my hair was shedding a lot, but I was just thinking that it was just like, you know, normal shedding. Um, when I would wash my hair and I'm just like, what is going on? So I went back to my silicone cause that was, that's my OG. I just use a silicone mix and that's how I press my hair out now. So I stopped using the, um, the Rosemary collection. But now that I think about it, that is probably what made my baby's hair fall out. That year when we came back from, uh, Disney and we took them braids out and her hair was just coming out and it was just, it was just so short and so broken off. I'm like, dang, did I cut her hair when I was taking the braids out? But no, it, it was that Rosemary collection. It was those Myel products because that's what I was using before and after. I don't understand why a lot of these black owned businesses do that anyway. Like stop selling our companies off to these, let's stop selling these companies off to these white folks because they don't give a damn about our hair. They don't care, they just, see that oh it's making billions of dollars in the black community let's capitalize off of that but it's okay because i'm gonna get my baby hair back to where it needs to be um we can grow some hair if we can't do nothing else Baby inside my way I play the catch and baby just slide on me Only time you lie is when you lie on me Be my forever baby come ride my wave Hop a new baby inside my way I play the catch and baby just slide on me Only time you lie is when you lie on me Be my forever baby come ride my wave I get you in the bed we don't do much talking Come to think about it don't do much often And that's how we like it Never time for arguing and fight. And if we do, you know it's quick to make up Pay for all your manicures and makeup Make sure that your paper's straight, no pay cuts Take care of my baby like a daycare Hop a new baby inside my way I play the catch and baby just slide on me Only time you lie is when you lie on me Be my forever baby, come ride my way Hop a new baby inside my way I play the catch and baby just slide on me Only time you lie is when you lie on me be my forever, baby, come ride my wave Told her throw it like a cyclone like Said she wanna play around with the lights on, lights on. Said she wanna play around with my eyes on Know her when she get to buying like a python Hop in the hood, baby, inside my way I play the catcher, baby, just slide on me Only time you lie is when you lie on me Be my forever, baby, come ride my wave Hop in the hood, baby, inside my way I play the catch a baby, just slide on me Only time you lie is when you lie on me Be my forever, baby, come ride my wave Hop in the hood, baby, inside my way I play the catch a baby, just slide on me Only time you lie is when you lie on me Be my forever, baby, come ride my wave Hop in the hood, baby, and slide my
Oh, that's why I hurt. <laughs> you ain't got no hair. Uh -huh. I do, actually. You yeah. know. Mommy, uh, look how short your hair is. Now my package is here, finally. Let's see. I've been waiting on this all day. Oh. Thank you. Mm -hmm. My picture's to go on the wall. I'm gonna eat because they are they are starving. Which I know they're not. Dinner is done, dinner is served. Everybody eating. Got a package. Amazon. So let's see what these pictures are looking like. I think I'm only gonna hang, I'm only gonna hang two. Oh, it's a different type of, okay. I don't know if y'all can see. It's not paper. It's like on some type of fabric. So here's the first one. Which is pretty cool. Here's the second one. And then here's the third one. Which I really like this one. Y'all think? I don't know. <sighs> I gotta wait another two days to get the 
correct frames. I'm gonna keep these frames though because I will find somewhere to put these frames in here. Like this room is just like, you know, my little getaway, my babe cave or whatever. So I can definitely find something inspirational or whatever to put up on the wall in here. All right, y'all, let me think about it. I'll come back. If I, if anything changes, I'll come back and show y'all. But right now, I'm kind of feeling defeated because... And then Happy Lobby is not open today. Well, it's already 7 o'clock, but they're not even open today. I wonder if Walmart has some... Um, let me go on Walmart.com. But anyway, I'll be back. Good afternoon. <clears throat> Today is Monday, October, I mean, September 30th, y'all. And I'm just not getting up. I decided to take um, a melatonin last night, which it did not work last night. So after I dropped the kids off this morning, I came back and lay down. And it was a wrap. It is now. 1 30. yeah i don't have much going on today i'll probably go um to the grocery store a little later to get dinner what i am gonna do is curl my hair like i like the straight look but it's kind of it's so bland when it's straight i just want to put some curls in it and you know it. I just been thinking like it's just so hard to kind of like get back to being me as a parent. It's like your main focus is just being a parent, being a wife, not really focusing on yourself too much. But I used to be like a fashion girly. Like fashion was my thing. And I ain't saying like I was like designer queen or anything like that, but I used to step out. I still step out. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, if I'm going somewhere, like I'm put on. I'm a, I'm gonna put on. Period. But I'm talking about like. I guess I just want to like switch up my wardrobe and do more with it. But like I always do. The basics. I'm tired of being basic. Okay. I be feeling so exhausted. By the time we get back to me, I'm I'm already exhausted. So I just do what I can. But I'm not doing it no more. I'm getting ready to start putting that shit back on. But I think I'm gonna um definitely like revamp my wardrobe so i'm gonna clean my closet out and like make room for more stuff because honestly i'd be like i've been wanting to shop but i'm just like girl where are you going i don't, I don't really go anywhere it's like i don't like partying definitely don't like going to a club but i'll go to like maybe like a lounge or um Sometimes we have, well, we have the day parties here. I'll go to one of those. But even when we went to the last one, y'all already know that somebody, somebody got unalived at the day party that I went to last time. And y'all know after that, for me, I was like, oh, no, baby. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> I'm good. I just, bottom line is, I just need some, I just need to rewrap my wardrobe. That's it back into my girly fashion I can I, I can already tell you right now like the heels um they're gonna be kitten most definitely I'm not doing um the high high heels anymore like my knees can't take it baby no the kitten heels are trending anyway so it's like we, we coming into a new time we stepping into a new time because those big five inch heels, mm -mm. not unless it's on a platform, I can do that. But the skinny ones, no ma'am. As parents or, you know, as moms especially, like you will 
go through a phase where you like lose yourself, you lose your sense of fashion, your sense of beauty, like like everything is like depleted and then you have to try to keep up with the times and all that. I feel like at one point it was becoming too much for me so I really didn't care like what I put on. I um you know didn't care how I look. Just put some sweatpants on and a t-shirt and keep it moving. But that's not me. Like that's that's just not who I am. So I had to quickly come up out of that. But I'm gonna figure it out. Like that's my goal. Like that's what I'm getting back to. I'm gonna get back to being me. I'm gonna get back to doing the things that I like to do, which is beauty. Like I that's why I started this YouTube channel because of the makeup. I hardly wear makeup anymore. Um, unless I'm going out or something like that. But I will start um incorporating those tutorials on this channel. I don't have my books open anymore and I don't um take clients on a regular anymore because for one my son is in sports and his games are on Saturdays and like these are the times that like I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sacrifice you know if I can be there in his games and things like that then that's what I'm gonna do because I remember when me growing up I didn't have that and I just want my children to have as much um, support as they can and don't get me wrong like my family um, my family and um, especially Cortez's family they are very 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 um, big supporters um, when it comes to the children, sports, any type of extracurricular activities they have going on, um, birthday parties, all that type of stuff, they are coming. I want to be there as well to share those moments and those experiences with my children. Um, it's just something near and dear to me. And that's another reason why I feel like I neglect myself. But I'm not doing it anymore because um, obviously it can be done both ways. Like I can still support and still be a bad bee at the end of the day because I'm going to walk around here looking homeless and crazy. But that's basically all I wanted to come on here and tell y'all. I'm getting ready to end this vlog and go ahead and try to get it up for you guys. But I just want to say thank you to all my new um subscribers thank y'all for subscribing to the channel i have so much more in store as far as um diy projects beauty fashion like we're gonna get into it like this is my time of the year like fall time this is this is my time so we're gonna get into it so make sure you are subscribed to the channel thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video bye